if I could just remove the conflict in my life, then there'd be peace. We think that in our mind, yet deep down inside our heart, we know it's not true because in those moments, those brief snapshots where things haven't been crazy, there's still been a restlessness to our life. Even when we thought there should be peace, there wasn't peace. And so the question is, why is that? And the answer lies in this truth. Because peace isn't about the absence of anything. It's about presence. No, not that type of presence. Everyone's like, wait, where is this going? No, it's not. We, we realize it's not about the absence of, of anything. Like, like we, we want there to be a conflictless life. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. We want there to be the removal of financial pressure, and we want there to be removal of our kids getting in trouble or, or, or making bad choices, and we want there to be the removal of conflict in our family, and none of that stuff in and of, of itself is wrong. We want those things, we pray for those things, and we long for those things, and all of those things are good and wholesome and things we should long for. But I'm convinced now more than ever that even if we had all of those things, if today someone showed up and said, Merry Christmas, here's a million dollars, and if today, all of a sudden, your kids woke up and they said, man, mom and dad, we want to we honor you, we want to take care of you, and we made you breakfast, and, and we're getting along, and I actually love my brother, I love my sister. If all of those things happen, if, if the crazy uncle called and said, I'm not coming to Christmas this year, if all of those things happened, we would still find a way for there to be restlessness and angst. That's one of those words that I remember hearing this kind of growing up and wondering, like, what does is, what is the word angst even mean? And then I go through life, and I see, oh, there's a lot of angst. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of pressure. And I look at that, and I say, you know, I don't think that that's necessarily what Jesus intended. See, peace isn't a place, but it's a presence. I want us to get that peace isn't a place it's a presence. It is literally because of what Jesus did by coming here to earth, and then he comes, he lives his life, and he dies his death, but his, his Christmas is about him coming here to earth and setting in course of motion the activities that eventually lead to his death, and then his promise of another comforter to come, the Holy Spirit. And then when the Holy Spirit comes and he, he comes and lives inside of those who choose to call upon Jesus, that because he comes and resides in our life, that it's his presence in our life that gives us peace. It isn't the removal of conflict. And here's how I know that, because I've known people. I've known people I look up to as spiritual giants in my life, and their life hasn't always been easy. In fact, sometimes your life has been very, very difficult. And yet they live their life with such peace. Peace. 